Hello, beautiful. Did you know that your hairstyle could possibly be aging you? Ew, getting older is scary. Luckily, there's so many different ways you can change up your hairstyle so that you age backwards instead of forwards. You know what I mean? And I'm definitely, definitely gonna offend some people in today's video, but you don't have to look younger if you don't want to. So only proceed past this point if you want the brutally honest truth of what hairstyles are aging you and how to reverse that clock with some easy changes. Let's play game. Game. This game is called Hot or Not. It's where you guess if the hairstyle is hot or not, aka if it's gonna age you or if it's not. We have 10 rounds, okay? So you have 10 chances to get the answers correct. And the more answers you get right, the better. You could possibly win the game and win absolutely nothing. So let's play. Okay, we have up first a curly moment. Here is a side by side. Which curly hair wouldn't age you and which would age you? Is it this one or this one? Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> if you chose this one, you would be correct. This is the hot one. The other one is the not hot one, okay? And we'll go over the reasons why after the game. But right now you're just trying to get as many correct in a row as you possibly can. Okay, this one. Ooh, this one's spicy. Okay, which one of these voluminous, out of this world blowout looks would age you? If you picked this one as not hot, you would be correct. Mm, yeah, it's not hot. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Ooh, we have a bob now. The bob can go right or the bob can go wrong. Okay, here's our first bob. Hmm, oh, ooh, ah. Here's our second bob. Ooh. Ah, which one's gonna age you and which one won't? If you picked this one as not hot, you would be correct. This one is not hot, okay? Ooh, it's getting harder and harder in here. This one, ooh, this one's a tough one. So we have bangs, okay, a fringe, if you will. We have this fringe, Miss Taylor Swift, or we have this fringe. Which one is hot and which one is not? You have five seconds on the clock, five, four, three, two, one. If you chose this one as being hot, you would be correct. This one is hot. That fringe, it's perfect. Okay, now face framing layers. Should we style them like this or style them like this? Ooh, what do you think? Both pretty, but which one would make you look younger? Tick tock, 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 You must put your answer in now. If you chose this one as being not hot, you'd be correct. <laughs> this one's not hot. Okay, we'll go over it later, but it's not. The wavy hair, the tousled lived in look. It can go right or it could go wrong. It could be dated or it could be updated. Which one is it gonna be for you? This one as being dated or is it going to be this one as dated? That's a tough one, I will say. Who came up with this game? This is tough. <laughs> oh wait, I did. Okay, your answers are locked in. If you chose this one as being hot, you would be correct. You should be getting most of these right, by the way. So if you're not, well, concerning, to say the least. We are back at the bob, but we're in the bob styling region now. Should you style your bob like this or like this? Both pretty, but which one would make you look younger? Ooh, this one's tough. If you said that this one is not hot, you'd be correct. That one is hot, but not to make you look younger. Ooh, the updo, specifically the bun. This one can age you if it's not done right. Miss Jennifer Lopez. And then we have this random girl. Which one is hot? Which one is not? I'm not speaking who's the hotter one, okay? We're talking about hair here. Ooh, I mean, yeah, they're both pretty cute. You know, I don't know. Do you know which one is which? Do you know which one is hot, which one's not? If you chose Miss Jenny from the block as being hot, absolutely you are correct. I mean, hell yeah. That updo is fire. Okay. The ponytail. Here are our two options. Ooh, 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 which one? Huh, oh, could be either. Or it could be one that's hot and one that's not. <gasps> All right, answer's in. If you chose this one, you would be correct in thinking this one is not hot. It's not, it's just not. Why is it so droopy? 
And lastly, let's talk about parts. Which one would be optimal for making you look the youngest? This part on Miss Lauren Conrad or this part on this random girl? This one's kind of easy, I think, for most people. Which one is it gonna be? If you chose Miss Lauren Conrad as being the not hot one, you'd be correct. That is our last and final round, guys. Add up your numbers. Let me know what you got. Scream it out loud. If you got below six right, I am concerned. We have some work to do. Now I'm gonna explain to you why the one that is hot is hot and why the one that isn't isn't. And why, if you choose the hot one, it's gonna age you back instead of forward. Let's review the exam now. Let me preface everything I'm about to say by saying that you can do whatever you want with your own hair, okay? You're watching this video though to get pointers on how to look younger. So I'm gonna give you that today. However, even these not hot looks have a place. They can be great, they can be cool, but in general, these looks are things that can make you look older. So if you wanna drop the years off your age, then listen up and don't shoot the messenger, okay? The curl. There's a way to do the curl right and there's a way to do the curl wrong. You see these two images? The one that's hot is giving me cute. It's also wavy, it's not exactly curly, but honestly, I would just stay away from tight curls in general unless your hair is naturally curly. I'm not talking about natural curls, okay? I'm talking about things that you do to your hair to style it that make you look older. All right, so before all the curly girls come after me, I'm not talking about your natural damn curls. These curls that look like they were done with a one inch curling iron and they haven't been raked out with your fingers or a brush, like they don't look great. They often tend to age you because this was something we were doing way back in the day. It's come out of style for the past like 10 years. So let's stop using so much hairspray and definitely make sure we rake out those curls and run your hands through it and loosen things up. And that will literally make you look so much younger and so much more refreshed and refined. Try using using the same curling iron, but wrap the hair around instead of doing it like this. These give you older looking curls and very rigid looking curls, whereas when you wrap it around, it gives you more of a wavy curl. I like it better, it makes you look younger. Or you can even stick with doing it the old fashioned way, the old type of curl, and then raking your fingers through at the end. This one may seem obvious. A lot of older women like to tease the shit out of their hair and hairspray the fuck out of it, which is great. I love a good tease, I love a good hairspray, I love good volume, but there's a way of doing it that makes you look fun and refreshed and it's this at least it's giving something we don't want to make your hair look like a helmet and look hard and look rigid we want movement we want teasing we want messiness that will make you look like you're trying less hard and it's going to make you appear younger okay we don't want this super duper polished like perfect stiff rock hair. Also, just like I said before, if you're gonna do a curl, please rake it out with your fingers or a brush. Smooth things out. You want softness. This blonde look, it can still age you a bit. Honestly, the whole extreme volume type of hair definitely puts a few years on. But I think this is a much more modern, updated, fun way of doing it with all these flips going in all different directions. The hair is a little messier. It's teased, but it's still sexy and fun and overall feels a little more youthful. The bob, 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 bob. This one is like the one of all all the ones today because the A-line bob, which is this moment where it comes like really short in the back and longer in the front. <gasps> I'm not even gonna say this one is good in general. I don't like this one. I don't, I, this one is just, it gives me nightmares. It does ever since hair school. I think I gave one person in my life an A-line bob and I'm so sorry to that person. I will never forgive myself for doing that to you. But you can do it in an updated way. Okay, this bob is not exactly A-line. It has a little bit of that A-line quality Quality, but it is modernized. You saw that A-line in the back, that little tiny bit of stacking, but it's not overly layered and it's not literally going off your head and defying gravity. It looks like this person has a growth coming out of the back of their head. And honestly, this look was so popular back in the day and it's just completely faded out of style and I don't see it coming back anytime soon. It's not flattering for your head shape or your age, so. Stop it. We've made it to the fringe. So the super rounded, boxy looking fringe that is literally perfect is not gonna cut it these days. Okay, it used to be cool, it used to be the thing, but now we want razors. We want like that shredded, sexy, lived in fringe. It's all about the lived in look. The whole lived in but refined look will decrease your age by a lot, all right? It'll take the years off. You also always wanna make sure your fringe lays at the perfect point on your face, okay? You want it just below that 
eyebrow and you want to style it with the hair going on all different directions not just down and in okay down and in ages you wispy and away in all different directions doesn't you don't want a block on your head you want spaces in between the fringe as well face framing layers we've been hearing all about layers these days all right it's all the rage everybody wants layers everybody wants that intense face frame which I dig it so much it's super cute it's a pretty timeless look but you can definitely style it wrong all right so this hair is an example of it styled wrong you can tell if they just use like this four inch round brush and everything is just inwards towards her face it's not ugly but it's not optimal for looking more youthful what is optimal for that is doing a more wavy lived in sort of look do you see the overarching idea here lived in but sexy and refined at the same time that is the overarching idea I'm trying to get at today so you can do that blowout the same way you always do it but then use a giant curling iron and just loosely put in a few waves just to mess up that blowout a little bit and give it some irregularity that will help give you that younger vibe all around so definitely keep your layers but definitely style them differently okay we're talking about it we're talking about the wave the wave can go wrong and so right at the same time the wave is just like the go-to look if you want to look young it's always trendy it's always going to be trendy and it's always f cute so the tighter the wave the older you're gonna look the more refined the wave the older you're gonna look the looser and the less defined the wave is the younger you will look it's pretty easy this one honestly so use a bigger barrel curling iron if your hair is long and can handle it and use it at a lower temperature that way you just get a very loose little crimp on your hair instead of super tight waves that are all like uniform and ugly okay styling your bob we talked earlier about what bob is best but now we're going to talk about the real styling of a bob because that is also important we want to avoid bobs that go in like this if you want to look the youngest we're not going to do this whole thing okay the little it's trendy it's fun it's very cute on some people but it can definitely age you instead opt for using a curling iron on top of your blowout and just churning some of those ends in and out also if you're good with a blow dryer and a round brush use a small round brush and twist the brush as you blow dry and you'll get some of that movement on the top of your hair to not make it look so uniform and so blown inwards. Let's avoid the blown inwards hair if we want to decrease in age in the blink of an eye. All right, the updo the bun if you want to look younger and you want to look snatched and you're going out somewhere fancy or you're just honestly going to work out this is such an easy way of getting rid of wrinkles like literally giving yourself a facelift it is so good oh my god can i tell you if i had long hair i would be snatching that shit up every time i have something to do the tighter you pull back your hair the more your face is going to lift and the more snatched and younger you're gonna look make sure if you don't have a great hairline fill in your hair with some makeup you don't want your hairline to look like it's back here you know bring that shit forward but also pull it back at the same time you know what i mean choosing a look that is much higher on your head will kind of suction lift everything up and back so opt for something that is higher and slicked back rather than doing something like this where the fringe is kind of down in front of the face it can be pretty but the whole slick back moment is gonna make you look a bit more young also adding a lot of height and volume up here to an updo don't do it unless you want to look older it is not cute anymore i don't love it and it only works in very few occasions it also tends to just lengthen people's faces and if you have any kind of sagging skin down here You don't want to lengthen it even more the ponytail There is a way to do it and there's a way to not to do it to make you look younger believe it or not now This one that is sort of drooping. It's bringing her whole vibe down It's bringing the face down the droopier the pony the droopier the face We have that kind of like wispy pieces in the front that don't need to be there instead opt for like we said before something that is super snatched and super high this will bring the eyes up and all all the skin up and the face up it'll make you look so much younger and so much more youthful and also make sure that ponytail is not drooping please put another elastic do whatever you need to do use a hair bungee anything look up some tutorials also a good pointer is putting your head back while you put the ponytail in and then bringing it forward once it's done that will make sure your hair is the tightest back here it can possibly be when you install the pony <laughs> i saved the most controversial one for last and that is the part the side part versus the middle part now we found earlier in our game that the middle part is more optimal to look younger and it's true guys no i don't have any problem with the side part i actually tend to style people with side parts all the time but if 
if you want to look the youngest possible, you should stay with the trends. And the trend is to part your hair in the middle. I do think it looks great on mostly everybody, pretty much. And it's a beautiful way of just changing up your look really quick and making you look younger. If you have a part that goes from like here to here, decrease it. I don't need you to just part in the middle, but at least decrease it, okay? Start going more towards the middle. We don't want it over here. That will age you and make you look like you're stuck in the past. Don't do that. So those are all the ways you can easily change up your style and look much younger. I hope that if you want to look younger, you take a few of these things and try them out. And I hope if you're not interested at all, you do you, do what makes you happiest and makes you feel the most confident. And that is the way you will win. If you would like to check me out anywhere else, you can do so. Here are all my social media handles, as well as my hair care and hair color line Instagram handles. My website is also linked below where you can shop everything that I make. And we have fabulously comfy merch. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.